So Brenda is teaching Clarence now on the lunge to go through the poles. It's very important because the horse doesn't know the command through the poles that in the beginning, until the horse has learned to associate the activity with the words, that you only say through the poles at the moment when he goes through the poles. If you say it the whole time, um, while he's on a circle, it will be meaningless. Now that, that was good. Also, the horse needs to learn the activity. That's good. And the command on both reins. There's no point to do it just on one rein. This is where the importance of the small things becomes apparent because yeah, Brenda is trying to get Clarence to change the direction, but he does not really respond to the verbal command. He probably doesn't know it well That's enough that, yet. At that moment. The other thing that is quite good to practice with the lawn train as well um, is where you have to stand to get the horse to, to go through the paws actually. Well, of course, with the lunge rein, it's different because you can control where the horse goes. You still have to kind of figure out how close you have to be to the paws um, in order to get the lunge rein length right. A uh, little tip here it's always a bit easier to make the horse go further to the outside and then bring it in a little bit with the lunge rein then have the horse go too far to the inside and then you have to try and push it out with your energy because that is much more fine tuning there than just giving it a tug on the lunge rein. Yeah, so that, that's good now. Brenda is now trying to get him to canter through the poles. Uh, Brenda, just a little tip, get him to go through and trot first so you get your own distancing right. Because in canter you don't want to have it wrong. Because he may well skid nastily on the, uh, on the poles if he gets it wrong. So now you can ask because you've got your positioning right unless you change it too much again. And also maybe ask him, even ask him to canter when he's in the poles. Ah, you've done it now. Good, Here good. he's yeah, cantering yeah, good. disunited. And That's if good. this was my horse and at a more advanced stage of training, I would correct that immediately because this is obviously not a good thing to happen. But in this case, it didn't matter and it's corrected now. That's it. Always, always say the word, canter or trot, whatever you want. Good. <laughs> yes. Good. That was good. Good, yeah, good, Brenda. That's good.
Brenda is going to end her days as a horse trainer, I think. So get your positioning right, yeah? Just for completeness sake, I fear that I need to comment here on uh, the lunge rain uh, dragging on the ground in front of Brenda a little bit. This can be potentially quite dangerous because you may well stumble over it. So, And just see what he looks like in Canada yeah, that's now. that's better. Now she's picked it up. She must have heard me. Good boy. Good Brenda. And I think I would probably leave it at that just to, you know. He's done well, so you don't want to overcook it. Yeah, treat his lameness with respect. Sorry.